Greetings, I'm Jared, one of your librarians here at Polk State College. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Occupational Outlook Handbook. It's a nationally recognized source of career information, designed to provide valuable assistance to individuals making decisions about their future work lives. The handbook is revised every two years, so it's one of the better sources that you can go to for current job-related statistics. To begin, we'll click library slash TLCC up top. Once the, that page loads, we'll then go to articles slash databases. At this point, you'll need to log in. Be sure that Polk State College is selected. Enter your student ID number in its entirety. The PIN slash password is the last four digits of your student ID number. Then you'll click Login. Once you log in, you'll see a complete list of our databases here at Polk State. Sometimes it's helpful to view them by subject grouping. So we'll click Subject and then we'll go to the Career category. And that's where we will find Occupational Outlook Handbook. Click the title of the database to open it, and once it loads, you'll see a page similar to this. There are two different ways that you can browse Occupational Outlook Handbook. You can browse occupations by sorting by pay or by growth projections in the field. You can also go to the Search Handbook field up top and enter the career that you're interested in researching. I'll use nursing for our example and we'll click go and that first one should work for us. Once you're on the occupation page you'll see that the information is separated into different tabs. The summary is going to pull information from several other tabs and just summarize them rather concisely. Uh, what they do will kind of give you the duty breakdown, some of the skills that you may need. Work environment is going to tell you a little bit about where, you, where, where you'd work in that profession. How to become one is going to focus on education, licensing, certification, registrations. Also qualities that you may need to do that career. Of course there's pay. There's job outlook that will give you projections for the career, occupation-wise. And then state and area data, that will allow you to examine how that career looks in the state that you live in. And those are the major points of interest. If you have any other questions about Occupational Outlook Handbook, feel free to ask a librarian.